guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a minute since i've done a video had a busy weekend for shannon's birthday she had a great party i'm so sorry i didn't i did get pictures but not of everything i wanted to do to get to do a slideshow so i'm sorry um but she had a great party and that's all that matters I did get some more cards from some of you and I'm probably going to be in the same outfit and I'll film some friend mail video. I'll film a friend mail video and I will probably post it on a different day. I am so behind. I have my 4k giveaway that I need to do, my Halloween giveaway that I need to, to do. I'm just so behind right now. Um, I've been sick so... And then I was just trying to enjoy the time with my mom and then like getting the kids back to school and well not the kids but Shannon going back to school finally and so I have a huge Dollar Tree haul and um, like always I'm gonna start with the boring stuff and the food and then we'll get into the really good stuff because I found some wish list items so kids already got into this this stuff has been sitting on my patio for like a week now. Um, this is an eight count of the Swiss rolls and my husband likes these as well. Picked up another bonus pack of the toast and pop-ups so you get eight instead of six. Shannon likes the chewy chocolate chip and Leland wanted the s'mores and it says now with six bars so those are a good little snack for when she gets home from school. She also wanted these Cheez-Its and the white cheddar if me or my husband don't take this bag. And we've gone different days, so she picked up the Hello Panda in the strawberry. Um, I found well, I didn't find, but I picked up two more bags for my husband. And then I also got this. I don't know if he'll like it, but he likes um, the passion tea from Starbucks. So maybe he'll like this. Um, it's Welch's passion fruit and you get, <clears throat> you get six sticks in here. So different flavor, something new for him to try. I'll let you guys know how he likes that. So I'll give that to him tonight and show him. And then I also picked up these. Now I'm not a huge fan of dark chocolate. If it's like a dark chocolate candy bar, I won't eat it. Um, but if it's something with dark chocolate, then I can. So this is a thin shortbread dark chocolate cream, European style cookie, and you get 12 in here. So it's not like I'm biting a just plain piece of dark chocolate. It's a cookie with dark chocolate, so maybe it won't taste as bad. Um, so I will give those a try. I haven't been able to find my regular jerky and cheese, but I found the Trails Best beef and cheese sticks. Tried it. It's not as good as my other one, but it'll do. So I did pick up a whole bunch, but like I only have two left. And then... <coughs> So sorry, you can hear it. It's like, it's going away. It's just taking its sweet time. I also got two of these Slim Jims in the nacho flavor. I already ate one and then I have one left. I'll probably give this one to my husband because he likes those as well. That's it for food, but like food related. I have two of the 40 count paper plates. Go. Sorry about that. Um, I picked up three more plain white glass cutting boards um, to make extra trivets for people. And I found this one and I was supposed to give it to my mom, but I didn't film this haul. Um, I actually might be going home in October for my nephew's birthday. Um, so I will hold on to this until then. And if I don't go, then I'll just send my mom a package. Um, but she loves these and she loves the ones that I've made her. Um, 
she has two I think I gave her a round and a square of the blue truck and then I made her a Betty Boop one and then I found this one and it says family is everything and I love the buffalo check there was no towels no pot holder oven mitt nothing in this or I would have gotten it all um, it was just the glass cutting board and they had it in the square, but I picked it up in the round for her. So that's for my mama. And then I'm gonna make her a Christmas one. She's not huge on Halloween and fall. Um, the fall she kind of likes cause she saw mine and she was like hinting towards it. So I might make her like a fall one. And then I'm definitely making her a Christmas one. And I'm gonna be making her two. She wants two for like every holiday. So I should have picked up another one. If I remember I'll, when I go back, I'll pick up another one because she likes to use them. They also work as a hot plate. Um, if you have something like a hot pan and you need to set it on the table, you can set it on top of that and it doesn't ruin it. Um, that's what she likes to use those for. I only found the small one. I have a bigger one, but I didn't get it at Dollar Tree. I got it at Big Lots and I think it was two fifty or $3.00 but I went to the new Dollar Tree today and they had a whole bunch of the smaller ones. Um, and I only picked up one. Let me use that, love it. Picked up some bleach, I've been meaning to get this. I need to do a load of whites. And this is just the LA Totally's Awesome Bleach in fresh scent, so I got that. Picked up some more Fab too. Um, I have, I, I'm not empty, but I don't always see these and I want to put them in here. So got two bags of those cause I still have some up in my cupboard. Keep forgetting to buy a box of wipes at Walmart when I go. So I just picked up two more of the 72 count for the baby. Well, yeah, you can't call him a big boy. He gets upset. He says he's a baby. So now we're getting into the good stuff. Well, semi good stuff. Um, it's kind of boring. I needed cough drops. I've been coughing and I finally picked these up today. You get 14 in here. They're by Halls, so it's a name brand. I don't really like cough drops unless there's a, <clears throat> unless it's the Ricola. Yeah. You have to do it like that or it just, yeah. Um, me and the kids went the other day and I didn't take a bag in with me and Shannon saw this one and I was, there was no shopping carts. They were all being used and we were carrying stuff. So she, I had a container, like a bucket and she wanted this bag instead. So I did buy it and we did use it that day. Um, finally found the Main Street Wall Creations wallpaper, but I need this for a DIY. Um, for one of my fall, I still haven't finished all my fall DIYs because my mom was here. And then, like I said, we had Shannon's party. Monday was her birthday. So I didn't want to, you know, I wanted to spend as much time as I could with her, but they had a whole bunch of designs. They had the ones with the leaves. They had the other ones, but I need this paper that looks like wood and I don't want to, and I haven't gone to Hobby Lobby. So I just got two. Um, for DIYs, I'm not using this for any of my walls or anything. Um, but it says peel and stick, removable, fashionable. It shows you can use it on different kinds of things. So I got two of them. Sorry about that. Um, Leland wanted this book and it says time for bed, a lift and flap book. And I read to the kids every night before they go to bed. Leland picks out a book. Shannon picks out a book. Um, if they're little like this, I'll let them pick out two. But if it's like a Dr. Seuss or like a bigger one, then I only read one. So um, he wanted this one. And he got Puppy Dog Pals. I think Shannon has this one, but he wanted his own. And then she wanted this one with the giraffes on it. She usually takes my adult coloring books. So I'm all for her of having her own. 
and I never picked this one up because it's double sided. So you would have to use crayons or color pencils. I wouldn't be able to use my Sharpies because it'll bleed through, but this one has like donuts and then, um, she said she wants to color the giraffe picture for me. So she got that. I did take down all of the stickers in her room and um, my in-laws got her the unicorn horn with the eyelashes as if the eyes are closed and then it has just flowers on it. I put that on her wall. She has two um, unicorn signs and then her new unicorn dream catcher that I get I hauled previously a while ago. Um, it's a unicorn and then her bedding. So she does not have all the characters anymore. She wanted to keep the frozen ones, but where they were, they were too low and they got ruined. So I had to take them off and ripped. They ripped. So I told her we would buy new ones and I would let her put them on her wall. I just don't want all the different characters because it just looks really bad and I don't like it. So I did pick up another one of the Frozen because like I said, it had ripped and she didn't have the big girl bed when she first started putting those on her wall. She had Leland's bed, um, so it was a lot lower. Um, so I'll let her choose where she wants to put those. And then I have some things that I want to frame and then put on her wall as well. But I wanted to get this because they still had it, luckily. I found some stickers. These were just so cute to not get. There was 106. But look, there's cherries for my girl, Coastal Brit. And then there's the watermelon for me. And then there's a bunch of different fruits. And they all have faces. So cute. Then this one also has cherries and fruits um, and watermelon. But it also has cupcakes and popsicles. And then it says yum. There's donuts. You get 86 on this one. And then this one you get 96 and also just has a bunch of cute little desserts and cupcakes and hearts. And then this one has 92 and it says need coffee, girl gang, oops, just smile, lol queen, my love, super dupa, and then believe and then hug me. So it has like the cactus and all the foods so cute so I had to get those and then I also needed a 5x7 picture frame for a card that I got I want to frame it and hang it in my bathroom and I have the bigger ones of these um, in the 8x10 needed some more scotch tape they were all out it was really weird that they didn't have their huge display of the two packs that they usually have um, they were all out but I just got this one for now. I just like having tape everywhere so that way I'm not looking for it. I have some here, I have some in the kitchen, my room. Um, I hauled the pink ones. The, and they write so smooth. And I was at a different Dollar Tree and I found these ones and these ones are blue, um, but they're by the same brand. So I got those. I found this lanyard. They were just putting these out, which is so weird because it's not that time. But this would have been perfect for the summer. Like, look, I found the watermelon lanyard. So I'll just save this for next summer. It's so cute. I have one that I ordered from Amazon, but my son ripped the little thing right here off. So found that got some beads because I thought me and Shannon could make some bracelets and necklaces. It'll be something fun for us to do. So I got the four pack of the stretch lace. You get dark purple, light purple, pink, and blue. And then I found these beads. Um, you get 250. They're all different shapes and pastel colors. I really like those. And then I found, oh, and in the middle you get four roses of purple, yellow, pink, and green. And then I found these. This one, they're just iridescent beads and you get 165. 
and then this one is pink and you get 120 and then this was the only blue they had and they're a little bit bigger but you get 82. So I thought that would be something fun to do. We can make little bracelets or a necklace or keychains or whatever. Always trying to find fun activities for her to do. Bless you. All right, I had to clear off some room and get stuff out of the bag. Um, Shannon wanted this wand in purple. It lights up. They also have it in pink. Um, today, me and my son went because I had to um, do a return or exchange. Um, and I saw these and I had to get this for her. It's so cute. It's a little unicorn and it's pink. They also had a panda that looked like this. And they also had... Oh, there was another one. I think it was a sloth. I don't remember. There was only three. So I got her this. And Leland didn't want the panda or the other one. He wanted this little, like, toucan bird. So he got that. And then he also wanted this porcupine or hedgehog. He calls it a porcupine. It's really soft. They also had it in, like, a tan brown. And I got the blue one for Shannon because she loves blue as well. Just so that way they know whose is whose. They wanted to add this to all their kitchen stuff. It has like a little stove with a little dial. It comes with a pot. There's like um, a seasoning and then like a flipper and a knife. So I got that for them. Leland wanted this Minion and it's Stuart. He's right there being nosy. Go play. Not right now, go play. Shannon wanted to get two little ponies. Um, Twilight Sparkle and Pinkie Pie. She used to have all of these and I got rid of them all. Because <coughs> she wasn't playing with them. But now she wants them. So. Where's her TV? Go. And then if you um, are subscribed to Cassie Bargain Budgeter, I sent her daughter, Kansas, um, a few of these. And um, I was able to find Snow White. And then I'm hoping I can find Tinkerbell for her. Um, and then she'll have all four of them. So I had picked that up for Kansas because I saw it. <clears throat> course it wouldn't be a haul if there wasn't any Hot Wheels. Leland got this 2010 Ford F-150 animal control truck by Matchbox. So he got that. He wanted to get another banana car because he thinks it's funny and he wants to give this one to his dad. So that one's for his dad. He also got the 1985 Honda CRX and it says turbo on the side of it. And then he got this T-Rex Royer, and it's like tan and blue, it has a dinosaur. He also got Electro Silhouette. These aren't all in one trip and all at one Dollar Tree. They're like, he grabbed two at one, two at another, so um, yeah. He also found the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. And that one's really cool. His dad will probably steal that one. And then he got the 2020 Mercedes-Benz CLA Shooting Brake by Matchbox. So, like I said, some of these were at one store, some were at a different one. Every Dollar Tree we go to, they want to go down the toy aisle, so... And he always has to check the Hot Wheels for him and his dad. Um, I only have like two Halloween fall things and they're both for DIYs. I picked up one of the decor pumpkins, just the orange ones. I've seen them in black and I've seen them in white. But when I realized I needed it, they only had the orange ones, which is, which is totally fine though because I can paint it. Which I will show you a picture of what I'm going to do with this. And then I needed another one of these. 
I'm not going to try and cut this off without using my heat gun because that is how I cut myself. Now I have this gnarly scar because I was doing that one. Or I could just flip it around. But I didn't realize that if I just use my heat gun over the top of these, it'll, it'll pop off. I was trying to just do that and yeah, that's how I cut myself. So I picked up another one because I want to make another one of those for somebody. So got that. That's it for like fall, Halloween, fall and Halloween. Um, well, this is technically Halloween, but it is LA Colors Glow in the Dark Nail Polish. And of course I had to get it in orange and this one's called Witchy. So I'll probably do this on my toes for Halloween. And then I got this one for Shannon and it glows in the dark and it's bootastic and it's a really pretty pur uh, purple, pur really pretty pink. Sorry, I can't even talk right now. And then I found this and then I was reading the box before I started this video. So I don't think I'm going to keep one for myself, but I don't know. One of these is going in the 4k giveaway because it's elf. So it's a name brand. It's Elf Active Workout Ready Hydration Stick. Performance formula, sweat resistant, won't clog pores, infused with natural skin hydrants, shea butter, cocoa butter, aloe, and grapeseed oil. For an instant boost of cooling hydration, the breathable performance formula is sweet, sweat resistant, won't clog pores to keep up with the active beauty lover twist up the stick and glide onto skin like the face, hands, or elbows. Blend with your finger. So I got two of them because I thought I was going to keep one for myself, but if it smells like cocoa or coconut oil, then I won't keep it. But this is what it looks like. smells really good. Okay, it doesn't smell like coconut oil or anything like that. It smells like aloe and it smells fresh and clean. So, um, one of these is, like I said, is going in the giveaway and one is for me. I will let you guys know when I announce that giveaway, I will have everything laid out. It'll probably be this weekend. I'm late on it. I'm sorry. Like I said, Shannon's birthday and I need to get a gift card because you guys all voted that you wanted to do um, a Dollar Tree gift card. So I need to pick that up and then I need to pick up a few other things and then I will lay everything out and I will show you. And that video you will enter in that video. So don't try and enter right now. I have people asking me how do I get in it and it's like I haven't even announced it yet. But I'm keeping one of these for that. And I went ribbon crazy because I haven't been able to find these. Um, I saw them on Instagram and I realized I picked up two of these. So these are going in the giveaway, the 4k giveaway as well. And they're very farmhouse and very cute. This one just says home all the way around it. It just says home ribbon, nine feet. This one also says home ribbon. They were all in the same box and it just has really pretty flowers. So. These will be going in the giveaway with other stuff. And then I got one for myself, one of each. And then I also picked up this one that says love and it has the arrow. It's just black and white, nine feet. This one that says love, la live, laugh, love, and it's brown. And the words are in black and there's little hearts, so cute same thing but this one's in gray i actually might throw one of these in the giveaway as well probably this brown one yeah so you'll get these three and then i'll keep this one for myself because i don't need two i just realized i thought they were different and then this one says home oh it says welcome home and it's in the gray it's really pretty and then the o is a heart these are so farmhouse and cute and then this one 
is just like a moss green with this really pretty design on it. And then these are from the Gnome collection that I was never able to find. It's just yellow with white flowers, but it does say Gnome on it. And then I was lucky enough to get some in friend mail, but I never got this one with the little mushroom house. So I did pick up this one for myself and it has the little gnome girl. So, so excited to find all this ribbon. Get that off my wish list. The kids got some more puzzles, of course. Leland picked up this Batman one for himself. I have this exact same one because I need to mod podge it and frame it and hang it in our bedroom and I just haven't done that. But this one I'll let him keep to do. And then Shannon really wants to do this one, but I'm going to have to help her because it's 500 pieces and she loves Lilo and Stitch. And it says chillin' and it has Stitch eating an ice cream. And then I saw this one and I had to get it. I might um, Mod Podge this and frame it and give it to my sister because Aurora is her favorite Disney princess. But it says Sleeping Beauty and then it has Maleficent in the background. It's really pretty. Also 500. And then Shannon wanted this one with the zebras and it's 48. She's really good at these puzzles and she can do them really fast. And then she wanted this one with this girl wearing a dress. And then they got these. This one says traveling is fun and it has a dog riding in a helicopter or a plane. There's only 24 in that one. And then this one says superhero dignity and strength. And I don't know who that's supposed to be. It's not Batman or Superman. It's just like a superhero. So, and that one's 48. So the kids have been doing puzzles like crazy. We actually went through their puzzles and all the ones that were missing a bunch of pieces, I threw away um, because obviously there's no point in doing those if they're not gonna keep the pieces. So the rest of this is Christmas and I know it is so early to be talking about Christmas. Trust me, I don't wanna be hauling stuff. I don't wanna be thinking about Christmas, but if I didn't get it, this stuff would be gone. So I'm really glad I grabbed it. They brought the little gnomes. But look, their hats have little trees on them. So there's red, green, also has the trees, and blue. So I got one of each. The box was full. Oh no, I got green and blue at one store and then I got red at another because someone took all the red ones and just left a box full of green and blue. And then I went to the new store and when I went in there today, none of these were there. So yeah, they flew like, these weren't like hotcakes. I don't know if I'm gonna keep these out here because Christmas I have a ton of stuff, but in my bedroom on my shelf, I have my regular ones like these um, and I might replace them with my Christmas ones. So we'll see, I don't know yet, but I was so excited to find those. And then I got two of these for my tree to decorate. You get two white and two red. So you get four little ornaments. So I got eight of them. And then I also found these cause you guys know my kid, both of my kids love gnomes as well, not just me. I found these ones and they are different. They have little dangly feet. They're, they are meant for trees, but I'm, I'm just gonna sit them either on my trays or my table in the living room or in the kitchen or whatever but this one's gray and red and then this one's white and red stripes and he has a gray, uh, gray belly and then they're really cute and then I got the two that are on skis this one has little hearts on his hat and this one has stripes and they're just so cute I just I had to I went gnome crazy and then these I'm not going to be keeping on the stakes. Um, I'll take them off and do something or I'll maybe I'll save them for a Christmas giveaway. I don't know yet. Um, but I picked up all three that they had. This one's blue 
His mustache is foam, like, so it, it just bent in my bag. I just need to set something heavy on it to bend it back. But he's holding a snowflake. This one, he's holding candy canes. So cute. And his hat's going the opposite direction. And then this one, look at, he's buffalo check and he's holding a buffalo check tree. Like, oh, so stinking cute. I had to get those. Like I said, I don't know if I'm keeping those for DIYs or um, putting them out in the yard or the giveaway. I have no idea what I'm going to do yet. But these were on my wish list and I'm so glad I found them. I had to get both because as always I couldn't decide and I love that they're diff like this one says Merry Christmas, this one says welcome. Shannon's all about that gnome life too, so if she wants to put one in her bedroom in her bathroom on her door, you know, we can change it. Um so I got those. I got this one. it says gnome for the holidays it is different from last year's because this is like an actual cotton ball and his nose is different and he's 3d yes you can take that so i got that and then i got these two because shannon really liked them as well for her bathroom um, it says gnome for the holidays and it's green the lettering is like silver iridescent and then this one says Merry Christmas from our gnome to yours. It's so cute. Hold on, baby. I'm almost done. And then she saw this and she asked if she could get it. So I'll save it for, you know, when she's out of school for Christmas break. It'll be something fun for her to do. She can paint it and hang it in her bathroom. She can hang it in the window if she wants. I don't care. But it's the little gnome girl and it's just the wood sign but you can paint it or um i wouldn't do sharpies i would probably paint it but you can also spray paint these so i got her the little girl and i got leland just the guy gnome so that way they can paint these and i figured we can hang them in the windows and it'll look really cute for Christmas time. So that's it for this huge Dollar Tree haul. Sorry I was MIA a little bit. You guys already knew it was her birthday and then I had family. And then Monday was her actual birthday and I've been sick, feeling a whole lot better. The kids are better. So stay tuned. I'm going to have plenty of videos for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I would love to be part of my YouTube family if you're not already. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.